Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the two toy poodles. And we have officially reached 10,000 subscribers! I cannot believe it. It seems like it was only <laughs> That's so cliche. <laughs> that it was just yesterday, but seriously. Wow, 10,000. Never expected that I would still be doing YouTube until now. Thank you guys so much for the continued support and do look forward to the future content that we would still be having here in the channel. I have so... well, I don't want to over preempt anything, but so much is in store. So many things are going to be happening and one of them is we are going to be going hiking. As you guys may have noticed already, we are going to be going to Baguio. I haven't gone there in a long time. <laughs> All right. It looks over the top. <laughs> But the thing is, I am bringing dogs, we're gonna go hiking, and then I am taking videos too. So the thing is, I'm gonna be alone so nobody will be able to help me like carry stuff. And I think it's more practical to be a little bit over the top with just fitting everything in one. And I can just transport that or the dogs and yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna be bringing these. I know they're, they look Christmassy and they're not exactly ideal for like uh, hikes. But these protect them so as they won't get too dirty. Because like I said before, right? Um, dogs can get dirty. Oh, this is what I was planning to make them wear. But the thing is, I lost the other one. Holy cow. Oh, there's another one. So it comes as a pair. It's a Christmas outfit. Because um, I don't want them to get too dirty. Oh no! Where are your harnesses? Holy crap. Oh man. Where did I keep the harnesses? I have been having a hard time because I think I officially just lost the harnesses of the girls. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But well, then again, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making them wear harnesses during the hike. I can just use these slip leash. Um, it's such a mess. That was one of the plans. But the thing is, what I liked about the harnesses is that anytime there's like an emergency, I can just grab them by the harness and I can carry them. Although it's gonna be the same thing, sort of, I think. We'll see. But <laughs> please don't judge me. I don't know if you guys even want to see it. So I showed you the empty luggage just earlier, right? And so those are my stuff. This is the jacket and then this for like the three days that I'm gonna be there. My sleepwear and under garments and then I'm gonna bring I think my blow dryer just in case because I want the strong blow dryer. And then I have my cap there and then I here have the leashes from way back when I still have the harness. This is a Vario 4 or Vario 6 from Easy Dog. And I like it because it's hands-free. That's the only that's the only um, leash that I have that's not slip on. Slip uh, that's not a slip leash. And then of course I still have this. This is basically something that you put around your head for it's a, it's a flashlight for hiking because we usually take the sunrise hike. So we're there at around 4 a.m. or like 5 a.m. But I don't think I'm gonna do that because if we take that hike, then um it's gonna be hard for me to take videos because there wouldn't be enough light. But we'll see. I can maybe just document when we're up there and maybe going down. Because it would be the same thing. It would be more exciting like going up because it's a struggle and you'll hear me like that like crazy. <laughs> Please don't judge me. I haven't done this in like 30 years. But I really do enjoy hiking a lot. And this is um, the new hair dryer that was sent to us by Petty Tech. Thank you so much for sending it to us. I did not buy it. It's not sponsored and we are not affiliates whatsoever. But I will be posting unboxing videos soon. Uh, maybe next week. Yeah, because I think it would be the best time to test this out for convenience during this hiking trip. Because usually after hiking, your dogs will get filthy. And you know, um, they're not exactly like Labradors where you know the dirt will just slide off and you can just wash them off or you rinse them and then you dry them and that's it. Poodles are not like that so I have so much grooming stuff. These are just the basics. I here have my uh, brushes, two brushes only and 
the Coco Fruit Care for convenience because I don't want to bring all my sprays. And like I said, the Coco Fruit Care is the perfect companion when it comes to traveling. So this is the only thing that I will be bringing because it's an all-in-one. And I still have a new um, favorite when it comes to anti-tick and flea because there are horses during the hike. So uh, I'm scared of the ticks and fleas that we can possibly get from the horses because horses have ticks and fleas too and then i have an extension cord because of the videos <laughs> i'm charging a lot of stuff those are my shoes and then there are brushes and the towels and then these are um the ones that i showed in the previous video the dog sweaters i'm not even sure if i'm gonna be making them wear it but we'll see because if it's wet i want to protect their underside because they're very they have very low ground clearance so everything that is on the ground <laughs> will be on my dogs after the hike if it's wet but if not then i think i can just let them be like that and then i'll just give them a bath after so i'm gonna be bathing them in the hotel room and so i still have that to put inside the bag so you see how convenient it is if i'm just gonna be storing everything here so that's that's basically the idea so I just want to show you the preparation and I'm planning to try posting it one day at a time because I know myself if I hold back and then pace it like per week chances are I will never post it anymore so I will be good I will be posting every single video because the purpose of this is not for the views it's really for documentation because you know life's too short so I just want to enjoy every single moment of it. If, I don't know, maybe in the future we can organize like a small event where you guys can join us. If you, if you guys are up for it, comment down below. <laughs> and, you know, we can look into whatever we can do. Because, trust me, going on hikes, even if let's say you say that your dogs are not ready, you're not ready and all that. But once they're there, the, insti the instincts kick in. And you see how much they will enjoy it and I as much as I can want to be able to show you guys that because a tired dog is a really really good dog <laughs> you guys will see it I, I will surely document it I even bought a new camera goodbye YouTube <laughs> YouTube salary this is an insta 360 one RS and it's the one with the 4k camera as well as the 360 video because at least when I'm hiking I don't have to worry about framing and stuff I'll be using the 360 lens Hopefully, I'll figure out how to edit it though. <laughs> I also purchased it because it's gonna be useful for my business because that's the plan, you know, since we reached 10,000 subscribers and quite frankly, I'm running out of ideas and, you know, I just don't want to pressure myself and limit myself to like, let's say, what I have been doing, like just educational videos about the breed itself. I, I don't know. Um, my main goal for both making YouTube was to make memories with my dogs because at least, you know, because with my phone, even if it's there, what if it gets lost and stuff like that? And then you have iCloud, but it's such a hassle to keep downloading and stuff. So if I have something like a documented memory like that, it's a it's such a nice thing to look for to look back to because you never know in the future, right? So yeah, that's it. That's it for day one. Um, look forward to the video tomorrow. Tomorrow will be... Maybe I could cut it down into two. I don't know. We'll see. So tomorrow we will be driving there. And um, I'm going to be taking them to the trails in Camp John Hay. And yeah, maybe that's going to be one whole video. And then the next day is going to be the hiking. So I hope you guys will stick around. Comment down below if you would like videos like this in the future. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!